Bob Kafari here, another cooking video. Uh, tonight, very simple, I'm gonna make a monster salad. And what's exciting, today is Sunday. Yesterday was our farmer's market here in South New Jersey, the Collingswood Farmer's Market. And I got all kinds of fresh, local, organic produce. Uh, look at these lettuces. This is amazing looking lettuce here. Uh, just picked yesterday morning and it's organic and you see how vibrant and healthy it looks and it has not traveled halfway across the country by train or plane. It's amazing. Uh, other things that are gonna go in this salad, let's see, before we get there, some tools of the trade here. We'll need a good, good sharp knife and a salad spinner. Very good to have. Okay, these things are pretty amazing. You put it in, it spins all the moisture out of it. Very good, I would highly recommend one of these. An organic avocado. I find if you put a ripe avocado over your salad, it to me negates the need for dressing. Right here you can look at, we have organic carrots from Dan Lin Farms. That's our organic farmer we know very well. Also, I'm gonna use here an organic slicing tomato as well. Uh, it's funny that Dr. Terry Walls talks about the importance of being cautious with nightshades and that if you're asymptomatic or symptom free for some time you can start experimenting again with small amounts. I find that tomatoes no longer adversely affect me. I don't know if they ever did but I eat them again and I'm fine with them. Uh, other things, these are organic the uh, golden cherry tomatoes. These are from Dan Lin Farms as well. And also, I don't like to put salad dressing on my salad. Uh, things I do, sunflower seeds, organic, raw, unsalted. Pumpkin seeds, again, raw, organic, unsalted. Uh, if you like nuts in your salad for protein, organic cashew pieces. I love these, these are from Mom's Organic Market uh, near us here in South Jersey. Um, these are my dehydrated blueberries, which I got in the springtime from Dan Lin Farms. And you can see I dehydrated quite a few of these. And these are terrific now. We're in late August and I'm gonna have fresh blueberry taste in my salad. Um, other things, if you don't have the right tomatoes, these are my dehydrated organic tomatoes here. I have yellow and you can see how good these look. It's like a potato chip and watch this if I break one. See that there? Mmm. Terrific. And it tastes like an August tomato. I know it's August right now, but these are good in the middle of February or March. Organic raisins. Add a nice sweetness to the salad. And to me, again, I don't need salad dressing. Some people like to go a step further. This is dehydrated wild coho salmon. And you can see there, it's been cleaned, sliced, and dehydrated in my dehydrators. And you can crush this up and sprinkle it on a salad. Makes an amazing addition. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna make tonight on the salad. There's so many things to choose from. So let's Get busy and I'll join you in a second here. So here I've got some of the lettuce washed here, uh, one kind of lettuce washed. And then here, so you can see what I do. This is the other kind. And what I do with this one here, both of them you see I have pour water in and you take the basket out and then you put this back in and and you can see this spinning around. And then it has a little break here. Very simple design. And all the water, see the water in the bottom there? That's spun dry and all the water's out. It's no longer dripping, so this is good. All right, moving on to the next step, we'll put a little of this. These, and uh, I think Dr. Wall says you should eat nine cups 
of fresh organic greens a day. And what I'll do with the rest of this now, I'll put this in here and this is something my wife Teresa taught me. If you put a dry paper towel in with greens, they last much, much longer. So here I'm going to put the rest of the salad in this bag here. And this will keep refrigerated and it'll stay fresh for quite a while with that dry paper towel in there. You should put another paper towel in it as well. Okay, so we'll get another, thank you Teresa, we'll get another paper towel in as well. And it's funny when you cook and you cook with someone, they always come up with all kinds of things that you never thought of. So life's a learning process. So we'll put a dry paper towel in like so. And let's get another paper towel from over here. Okay, put this on this side. So this will be good for quite a while now. In the refrigerator, of course, I'll squeeze out whatever air I can. And leave a little here and get the air out because it's oxygen that makes food go bad here. There we go, vacuum sealed lettuce, all ready to go. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to cut up the avocado for the salad. And there are many ways to do this. Uh, there's a special tool, I know I don't have one, but what I do is Cut it in half like so, open it up, so you can see how ripe that is, ready to go. I get this in here, put the pit in there and pop it right out like so, okay? And then my next step is I take the avocado and I start cutting squares all the way through. Like so. And then I go crisscross with these squares all the way down to the skin. Like so, let's get out a spoon here. And then I'm going to take this like so. You can see that coming out in little square chunks. See that? Look at that. It's great, okay? So it's all pre-cut up for you. And then maybe I'll, whatever's not cooperating, I'll just get in here and sort of get it out and break it up a little. And that's how to cut up an avocado. That's one way. I'm always open to learn better ways. Okay? I think we're almost set here. I'll sprinkle on some sunflower seeds, some pumpkin seeds, maybe uh, a few cashews, cut up a tomato, and I think we're all set to go. So the salad's just about done. Here you can look at there are two kinds of organic local lettuce. There's uh, quite a bit of organic fresh slicing tomato cut up. And now I'm gonna sprinkle on some sunflower seeds. You can see. Okay, let's get a little of those on each one. Okay, we'll put this over here. I know Teresa doesn't want and so we're going to put some carrots on each one here. Okay, we have organic carrots. He's got white and regular colored carrots. These are pretty good. Okay, let's get some of these going here. Okay, that's carrots, and then we got some sunflower seeds on. I'm gonna put some organic pumpkin seeds on mine. Okay, just a little bit, don't need a lot. And then I'll put maybe a few cashew pieces on mine. I know Teresa doesn't want any tonight. Okay, and then both salads will get organic Thompson raisins. We will sprinkle some of these on, like so. Okay. 
Okay, and I think that's good. So my salad, I'm going to eat with no dressing, and I think Teresa is going to have a little dressing here. And this was something we bought out in Vail, Colorado, for Teresa. And this is an avocado dressing, which I know Teresa loves it. So that's what Teresa will have, and I will have mine straight up. So this is a whole meal. Everything's there. Your mix of vegetables. You've got um, you've got nuts, and you've got seeds for protein. That's what I call a pretty complete meal. So it's time to sit down and enjoy dinner. Thank you so much for joining us, and I'll be back with another cooking video next time.